even a bottle out of a guy's that's pants. Very, that's very funny. <laughs> what was the bottle doing in his pants? I, who knows? This is like Chardonnay Go. That's the game. The news at 6 starts right now. Live from Studio 2A in Pix Plaza, this is the Pix 11 Morning News with Sukanya Krishnan and Scott Stanford. Terror in France, the country dealing with its second large scale terror attack in less than a year. This time, more than 80 people are dead when a truck plows into a large crowd in Nice. Among the dead, we know two Americans. We're live. And because of those attacks, Donald Trump has delayed his official vice president announcement. Reports say it'll be Indiana Governor Mike Pence, but Trump now saying, well, maybe not so fast. And coming up at 6.30 as we approach two years since Eric Gardner's death, a fight is brewing about whether it should be legal to record police on city streets. A look at the fight in a live report. The PIX11 Morning News starts right now. All right, good morning, everyone. As you know, Sukanya Christian has this Friday off. I'm Calorama sitting in for her. Yeah, good morning, guys. And we're waking up again this morning to a, another terror attack, this time in Nice, France. Folks celebrating Bastille Day right there on that Mediterranean waterfront. A, a, a one guy, one lone uh, driver slash gunman driving through a, a, a crowd of people celebrating. And 84 people dead today, over 100 more uh, wounded. Uh, and again, it's just, it's just a another senseless attack, uh, just a total disregard for humanity. And of course, we we're talking about one father and son from Texas uh, killed in that attack right. uh, in so, France. To put it in perspective, too, Bastille Day is a lot like our July 4th Absolutely. year. So a lot of people are gathered along this beautiful seaside yeah. street beautiful. waiting to watch the fireworks. And then this, I think in the video you see it's very disturbing, but a lot of people didn't really know what was going on. They're thinking, why is this truck right. driving down this street running people over? Yeah, no, just absolutely insane the times we live in. Uh, again, and nobody's taken responsibility for this thing yet. We do know the one guy is a 31-year-old uh, resident of Nice. He was living there. He's a Tunisian. Uh, descent. So we're waiting to hear more about that. And France has called for three days uh, of national mourning in the wake of this attack. So we're going to have a live report coming up for you in just a few minutes. But first, we want to get a check on the weather. Linda's here. Uh, at, at just more of the same from yesterday, right? Uh, yeah, actually, we're going to step it up a notch. Just for you, Scott, we're going to take it up a degree. <laughs> we're going to take it up a degree or two. Turn in the heat on. Get that deodorant ready. Thank goodness, thank goodness, <laughs> I'll buy you some spare. Uh, later on this afternoon, it's summertime in the city. Hazy, hot, and humid, we do have